We want to have the doctrine, defense doctrine, that will be fed also by the lessons learned, which was never done in Georgia. Georgia is the only country that had three wars with Russia uh, in the past 20 years, but never these military successes or mischiefs were never analyzed. So this is why we're working hard now to put together the analysis of what went wrong on the strategic, on the operational or tactical level, so we can feed this in in the future doctrine and not make the same mistakes in the future. I declared as a minister uh, just a month ago or so that uh, I'm looking forward to commission the study, expert study, military study actually, uh, for the past 20 years, what kind of uh, military lessons learned we can acquire from the history. But I want to make sure that everybody understands that this is not going to be the uh, way to finger point on someone's blame inside. What I want to make sure that the, from the military standpoint, the conduct of the military operation, again, on the strategic operational tactical level, how it went, what was the decisions that made this kind of unsuccessful, uh, actually, operations. And uh, I want to feed this back to the defense strategy and the doctrine of Georgia. So this is purely uh, military lessons learned commission. If you're going to look at the history of Georgia for three millenniums, so many times we were chopped up, sliced up by the neighbors, but then Georgians got together and stitched our country back. So this is exactly what's going to happen, but it takes patience and time. And this is why the exercise that we're thinking is not about politically blaming someone. It's about to learn the lessons from our military mistakes, not to make it in the future. Uh, Irina Kirillova, University of Cambridge. Are there any signs that Abkhazia and Southern Ossetia are beginning to think in terms of reintegrating as part of Georgia as a whole? I know it'll take time. <laughs> Okay. Any signs? Well, definitely it will take time, and uh, we should not rush things. Uh, uh, I think the demonstration of Georgian society, <coughs> sincere demonstration that we're looking forward to communicate with them, we're looking forward to trade with them, we're looking forward to reintroduce ourselves to Abkhaz and Ossetians again, because Abkhaz, Ossetians, and Georgians are not the same as we were 35 years ago. So a lot of things change. Uh, this is why when they're going to see this and they're feeling this now, uh, it will make uh, possible uh, to elevate the confidence between the sides on a such a level when we can discuss already the political sensitive issues like status related issues. I'm confident that the non-recognition policy is sustainable. Uh, we don't worry about this because the world is very solidly supporting Georgia's territorial integrity. I'm pretty sure the illusions the first illusions that these two uh, breakaway authorities had after the war, that their independence can be sustained after the recognition <coughs> from Russian side, it's also fading away. I'm pretty sure Russians also understand that they failed of recognition policy. So I think it's time now to just uh, stand back from the cliff and uh, just say, okay, there are things that we can do before we're gonna tackle these very politically sensitive issues. This is why our pragmatism towards Russia is also going to play in hand here. When Russians will start looking at Georgia, not as an enemy, but also as a potential partner in trade, potential partner in humanitarian relationship, we have over a million Georgians living in, uh, in um, uh, Russia. Their faith <coughs> is something that we're concerned about. We want to be in touch with them. And this blockade and this uh, uh, not having enough uh, sufficient context is hurting them mm -hmm. and us as well. So I'm pretty sure after a year or two, after this kind of new uh, workable relationship, manageable relationship with Russia, it will give us more space to think about what happened and how to improve things. Again, I'm very confident the Georgian territorial integrity will be restored. It's not going to be in two, three years, but I'm pretty sure it will be possible. But we have to start with the right beginnings. And also patience is uh, really important here because we cannot rush things. When there was a bad blood between us and there was a lot of people killed, a lot of family members were hurt, this takes time for us to really think about the future. And if we, if we want our kids to, not to suffer as we did, so we better think about this in a very pragmatic way. This is why 
status-related political issues, I think we need to tackle very patiently, but work on the trade, work on the human-to-human -human touch, work on the other aspects of our relationship that are not that difficult to uh, tackle at this point.